Hello all and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss the Kyoto Protocol which is included in the module People, Development and Environment. Now Kyoto Protocol is a very important treaty or an agreement as far as climate conservation is concerned or our environment is concerned because the main objective of the Kyoto Protocol is to conserve or protect our climate and to promote sustainable development. The Kyoto Protocol is an agreement linked to or framed by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change or the UNFCC which is a body of the United Nations on climate change. And the agreement was signed on 11th December 1997 and it came into action or it came into force on 16th February 2005. This agreement got its name, the Kyoto Protocol, because it was signed at Kyoto, which is a city in Japan. And this agreement was signed among 192 countries including China, Russia, Japan and every nation in the European Union. The main aim or the main objective of this agreement was to reduce global warming by cutting down the emission of greenhouse gases. As we all know, global warming is the most dangerous threat that we face today. Global warming is the process by which the temperature of the environment rises up suddenly than normal. We have a normal environmental temperature, the temperature in which human beings and all other organisms sustain. Global warming causes an increase in this normal climatic temperature. And global warming causes an increase in this normal environmental temperature. The major reason for this is the emission of greenhouse gases which is produced as a result of industrialization. This can have dangerous impacts on the environment. As a result of global warming, the atmospheric temperature increases and it causes the glaciers to melt in the polar regions, thereby increasing the sea level. This can cause harm to both humans and animals in the world, in the whole world. The developed countries are the major producers of the greenhouse gases, in fact. The rapid industrialization in these countries accelerate greenhouse gas emission, burning fossil fuels, running air conditioners and refrigerators and such things are the main sources of these gases which cause the greenhouse gas effect. The Kyoto Protocol is actually a very significant agreement drawn among the developed countries to bring down the emission of greenhouse gases by 5% when compared to their rate in 1997. It mainly focuses on reducing six important greenhouse gases and they are carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons and sulfur hexafluoride. And among the developed nations, the United States of America and Afghanistan are the only two nations that did not sign the Kyoto Protocol. From this we can understand that Human activities are the real reasons behind global warming, greenhouse gas effects and such climatic changes in the environment. And the major objective or aim of the Kyoto Protocol is to promote sustainable development by reducing global warming. And in order to deal with the Kyoto Protocol, each nation has to adopt certain mechanisms and that is referred to as the Kyoto Mechanisms. We are going to discuss the Kyoto mechanisms. What are the major Kyoto mechanisms that industrialized or developed countries adopt? One of the mechanism is the joint implementation. According to this protocol, each developed or industrialized country that signed the protocol will be given a limit for emitting the greenhouse gases or they will be given a quota for emitting the greenhouse gases. And that particular country is not supposed to go beyond that limit and emit greenhouse gases. If it do so, if that country do so, they can get penalty by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And in order to escape from this penalty, that particular country can undertake 
emission reduction projects in any other industrialized country an industrialized country can undertake emission reduction projects in any other industrialized country like energy conservation or afforestation or renewable energy projects such things that is joint implementation mechanism the next mechanism is the clean development mechanism and in this mechanism the developed country can invest in other developing countries not in other developed countries like in the joint implementation mechanism but in developing countries they can provide technological assistance or financial support for such projects in developing countries and thereby the developed countries can escape from their penalty by investing in developing countries if the developed country exceeds its limit they can invest in any other developing countries so that is clean development mechanism and the next one is emission trading here if a particular country exceeds its limit of greenhouse gas emission they can purchase carbon credits from another developed country these carbon credits are the units of greenhouse gases each country is allowed to emit and if a country gives carbon credits say country a to country b then five carbon credits will be cut down from country a's quota or limit thereby country b can escape from their penalty by purchasing five carbon credits from country a so these are the mechanisms under the kyoto protocol we have discussed the major details of the kyoto protocol in this video hope this was helpful for you thanks for watching and bye